Hey, my name is Dan. I used to work at the biggest dealership in the country and now I teach fine folks like you how not to get fucked when buying a car. Now, typically I don't make videos like this, but I decided why the hell not? If you're gonna be buying a fast car, if you're gonna be buying a sports car, if you're 18 or 25 years old, these are the best cars that you can buy if you're enjoying speed. We're gonna start off with Mazda Speed 3. Personally, one of the best cars but I did save the best for the last. So Mazda Speed 3 is gonna be able to get you 263 horsepower with 280 pound-foot of torque, zero to 60 at 6.1 seconds. Yeah, this car is pretty impressive. I driven one, my friends had some. This car is really, really nice. It's reliable, it's everything that you want. You can throw your friends in the back, it's a wagon, you can have things going in the back seat, behind the back seat. And the best part, if you're going camping or if you're going on road trips, you can actually sleep in the back seat. Just fold that thing down, throw a couple of sleeping bags, then you're good to go. With target price of $13,000 at 36, 37,000 miles, you should be getting this car and really enjoying every second of it. Now, the next car is going to be a brother from another mother, which is a Ford Focus ST. 252 horsepower, 270 pound-foot of torque, 0 to 60 in 6.3 seconds at target price of also $13,000 at 36,000 miles. So these two cars are very, very identical. If you're looking for performance, Mazda Speed 3 would be your kind of your choice. If you don't really care for the absolutely best I mean, Mazda Speed 3 is just a little bit better. If you don't care about that, then pick any of these cars. You will enjoy them immensely. Now, the little brother of this Ford Focus is going to be Ford Fiesta ST. With miles to a gallon of 31 to 43 miles to a gallon on the highway, you can really enjoy this car. 197 horsepower and 202 pound-foot of torque, 0 to 60 at 6.9 seconds. I mean, this car is really fun. If you're looking for a smaller car that's also going to be economical, if you're not looking to spend a lot of money on gas, then really look into this car right here. It's a great entry-level car. Also, the best part is you can get it in manual or automatic. If you're living in high traffic areas, look into getting one of these puppies in automatic because it will save you a lot of backache. I mean it. I drove manual for a long time and your back just starts to hurt after you're constantly pushing pedals in traffic. A target price of $9,000 and 36,000 miles. This is the car that you should be looking to if you're on the budget and you're looking for a fun, fast car. Next car we're gonna talk about is gonna be Fiat 500 Abarth. This car is real special. Um, I'll tell you what I think about it, but let me give you some stats. Horsepower 160, torque 183, 0 to 60, 6.9 seconds. This car is great because it's really tiny, but there are some downsides. Road noise is not great. Road noise is really loud. I mean, it just is. It's not super comfortable. You really have to test drive this car for at least a couple of hours before you figure out if this car is right for you because of the size and configuration of the whole interior. I actually got a chance to drive it a few times, uh, not really impressed, everybody loves it, I wasn't really impressed, so this car is really something that you have to test drive for a while to figure out if this car is for you. However, however, once you look at target price of $7,000 and 37,000 miles, this car is really nice. At $7,000, it's really impressive. However, there is an even cheaper option than that. Chevy Cobalt SS. Yes, it is ugly. Yes, if you're not into pussy, this car is for you because you ain't gonna be getting any with this car. Unless she is blind or drunk, there is no way she's gonna get inside this ugly car. But at target price of only $3,000, and 90,000 miles, 260 horsepower and 260 pound foot of torque at zero to 60 at 5.5 seconds. You won't be getting a lot of attention, but you will be driving fast. I guarantee you that. The next car we're gonna talk about is Lexus IS350. On the picture you see here ISF, 
we're not going to talk about ISF because even old ISFs have a V8 and they are still over $30,000. That's what I call a great car when it's old, has 100,000 miles and still costs $30,000. This car is just the IS 3.5, IS350, which has 277 pound foot of torque with 306 horsepower, zero to 60 at only five seconds. I mean, this thing is impressive. I mean, it really, really is. A target price of $9,000 at 90,000 miles, it is a bargain because this car can drive you for many, many, many years. Probably one of the best cars on this list is gonna be Nissan 370Z with 332 horsepower and 270 pound foot of torque. You're gonna be able to scoop this puppy up at target price of $13,000 at only 45,000 miles. The best part is zero to 60 is only five seconds. That is my favorite part. It's an actual sports car. Out of all these cars, this is the sportiest you can get. It's a two door, it has a V6, it has a manual, it's rear wheel drive. I mean, if you wanna get yourself into trouble, this is the car that will push you into trouble the fastest. However, I did save the best car, in my opinion, for the last, and that is gonna be Infiniti Q60 and Infiniti Q50. It's pretty much the same car, except it's a two-door versus a four-door manual versus automatic, and do, they do come in all-wheel drive with four-door and two-door. So there's a lot of options, and the coolest part is this car is really luxurious. I mean, leather everywhere, sound is great, road noise is quiet, and the best part is you're gonna be able to get this car with 330 horsepower, a 270 pound foot of torque, but because this car is a little heavier than the 370Z, it has a little more options, like heated seats, cooled seats. I mean, this car is really luxurious. With zero to 60 at 5.7 seconds, this car is absolutely amazing. However, if you wanna get a car which is cheaper, but still has all the same fancy options, I would highly recommend you look into Q50, G37 Coupe or G37 Sedan. You can get them all wheel drive. You can get them convertibles. You can get them two door. I mean, the options are there. The best part is it's a luxury car. It's gonna have backup cameras, heated seats, cooled seats, remote start, keyless entries. I mean, the car is a luxury car. It just happens to have a really nice motor in it. In fact, Infiniti actually has the highest horsepower per engine size out on the market in 2018. If we're not talking about really fancy cars, if we're trying to find cars under $60,000, nothing else beats this. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up below and click the subscribe button over my head or watch one of those two videos if you want to see more money saving tips about cars. This is Dan with 60 Minute Car. I'm signing out and I'll see you on the internet.